Hello everybody, my name is Wilder and welcome back to Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. In the last episode, we had our huge tutorial tutorial island, bleh, and uh, I left you off in the middle of the first day, which kind of sucks, so I'm sorry about that. But uh, now we can actually start um, doing the rest of the stuff for the day. Uh, so the first episode was kind of really information heavy, and I was really trying to explain all the stuff I was doing uh, with the little time I had. Um, oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so now it's just kind of like I can relax and just like casually explain the rest of the things that are going on. Uh, and since, um, you know, it is the beginning of the game, I don't really have to use every single second of my day to do something extremely productive. So I can just kind of stay in the field here for a little bit, you know? It's kind of cool. Um, the reason I just tried to milk vanilla again is because you can milk your cow uh, twice a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon. I'm not sure what the time apart is supposed to be. All I know is it's once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to put all of this milk in the shipping bin that I was talking about. You know, the one that I <laughs> said that I almost never used. Oh, no, wait a second. Van is here. I remember we saw that uh, cutscene. Sorry, it's it's been uh, a few hours since I recorded the first episode. Uh, I kind of took a break. Um, but no, Van is here. That's right, I totally forgot about that. Um, oh, I guess we should probably talk to everybody in the town. This is Flora. Well, hello there, I'm Flora. I study archaeology with the professor, and I help out his dig over near the big waterfall. She's cool. She works with uh, the professor. The dig site is actually something we can use that we're going to go to uh, a little bit later. Um, but for now, I'm just going to pick all of the flowers that I find. Uh, so that we can go to Van and sell them all. Uh, his shop closes at 5 p.m., I believe. Yeah, so we're gonna just pick these and then get over there really quickly. Hello. How is that from the farm? Is it doing well? Yeah, that's Ruby. We met her earlier. Uh, she actually gives you a very important item later on if you become friends with her. Um, that's one thing, that's one big thing about Harvest Moon, if you've never played the games, um, the, there's like a friendship system, an affinity system, if you will, um, and you have, like, giving people gifts that they like will put their friendship with you up, um, and once you are really good friends with them, you'll get, like, some people have cutscenes, some people, oh, my character's getting tired. Um, anyway, when you put your friendship up with uh, other people, you'll get cutscenes with them. Though sometimes uh, some of them will give you items or tools that you can only get from that person. Um, and what you just saw there is my tired, my, my tired, my character was getting tired. Uh, you do have a stamina bar in this game, and when that runs out, uh, you pass out and um, it basically skips the rest of the day. Anyway, this is one person that we didn't meet when Takakura was giving us a tour of the town. I'm an energy researcher. Please please come by my lab sometime and I'll show you one of my amazing experiments. That's Daryl. He's kind of weird. But his experiments are really cool. He actually gives us a really cool item too. Hello. If it isn't our new arrival, Wilder. As you can see, my husband and I are old. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. We live in this valley quietly. Cool, and here's her husband. Who are you? Oh, I remember you, Wilder. I used to live in the town, but after I got older... I came out here with Nina to get some rest and relaxation. Never a bad thing. Um, oh, here, I'll talk to her really quickly, because she's important for an explanation that I have in a few seconds. Hello. Oh, hi, Wilder. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> that was that was a pretty quick conversation. Anyway, uh, I'm going to sell some stuff to Van first. Um, so there's two ways to sell stuff to him. You can talk to him and then like pick the sell option, or you can actually just show stuff to him while he's at his stall here. He'll tell you the price, he'll tell you how many you have, and then he'll ask you how many you want to sell. And you get money. P and profit. Easy enough. Um, so I was mentioning the friendship system earlier. Uh, the big thing about this game is, uh, unlike other Harvest Moon games, this one is much more uh, story-oriented, if you will. Uh, I guess you can say. Um, there isn't really a story to it, but this game goes through chapters, um, and every year or, uh, 
uh, every year or two or three is a chapter, depending on what year you're on. Or what chapter you're on, sorry. Um, and there are certain things that happen within those chapters, and you can't stop them from happening, so the game progresses on its own. Um, unlike, you know, the other Harvest Moon games where you kind of go at your own pace and things happen at your own. So, uh, year one is all about being a bachelor, and at the end of this year, you get married to uh, one of the girls that you have the highest affinity to, uh, or with. Uh, the three girls that... Oh, hey, let's talk to Rock. Yeah. Hold on. You're a wilder, right? I'm a free spirit here, so call me if you want some fun. Sure, man. That's Rock. Um... The three girls that you can marry, we saw them earlier. Well, we saw two of them. We saw um, Celia, and we saw Muffy. Uh, those are the two girls that you can marry. Uh, and the third one was Nami. We didn't see her, but Takakura mentioned that she was uh, living at the inn, the inner inn, and she was on the top floor. Uh, oh, yeah. Daryl's doing some kind of weird experiment on cows. So every day at, like, 5 p.m., or, well, 4, every day, like, around 4 p.m., he'll just come here... And he'll just, like, walk, like, the entire pasture around the fence and just, like, look at your cows. I don't really get it, but, hey, if he's having fun, more power to him, you know? Um, but yeah, th so the three girls you can marry, the one who has uh, the highest affinity at the end of the year will propose to you if you haven't proposed to them first. Uh, there are different ways to check their affinity, but we will get into that uh, quite a bit later. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what else I have to do for today. I think I... I think... Oh! That means that your character is hungry. Their stomach will growl, so you just have to eat something. Eat some type of food. Uh, dishes that you can cook in your house, at your kitchen, which we'll get into quite a bit later. Um, they they fill you up a lot more than just the random stuff that you find around, around town. Uh, but it'll do for now. I don't really have anything left to do for today, so I'm just going to talk to people and kind of meet the rest of the people in town. This is Cody. Really sorry about that cut. Uh, anyway, but I'm, I'm back. Um, anyway, uh, I've been to a lot of places, but it's most peaceful here. Cool. Today my head is filled with ideas of new work. So this is Cody. He's an artist. Uh, he mostly makes art out of metal. Uh, and he lives way over there with the people that we were not introduced to. Um, but... That's okay, because we'll meet them on our own anyway. Uh, and I guess it's not 5 o'clock that Van gets out of here. Von Van. I call him Van. I've always called him Van. What's up, Takakura? You can always ask me questions, but I suggest trying to figure things out on your own. I've also written lots of advice down in the notebook on your bookshelf. Also, it may be none of my business, but I suggest finding a wife quickly. It was your father's dream to have a family farm, you see. Finally, if you show items to people, sometimes they'll tell you something about it. That's all for now. Good luck. He's really pushing us into the marriage thing. Um, I thought he closed at 5, but I guess he doesn't. He closes at 6, then. This is another villager that we have not seen yet. Hello. This is Murray. You look like you have something. Gimme. Gimme. He's, uh, he's, he's just a homeless guy who lives here in the town. Oh, well, he's closing up shop. So every time he opens up shop, and every time he closes shop, you get this cutscene here. Uh, just him announcing that he's closing his shop. Unless, again, you're inside. Um, oh. So here is Nami. Here's the third girl that we can marry. Because uh, we haven't seen her yet. Hello. Hi. People ask me all the time why I'm traveling. But I don't have a specific reason to tell them. Everyone seems to get so much happier in the spring. Yeah, she's pretty cool. She's kind of like, she is a traveler, that's why she lives in the inn. Um, she's, she's really cool. I like her. I like all the girls, but uh, she's definitely the coolest out of the three. There she is. I was trying to find her. The camera was being weird. Uh, it's kind of getting late, so I guess we should probably head home. We'll talk to a few people on our way back, since I see new faces that uh, we haven't talked to. Oh, like Gustafa. You're the guy who runs the farm, right? How's life treating you, my friend? If you ever have any free time, stop by and hang out. He's pretty cool, too, honestly. Uh, he lives in uh, the yurt over there. He's one of the only ones we also didn't meet. But we did meet Marlin. Hello. Who's there? Oh, the new guy. I help out here in the fields. I used to work for a big company in the city, but I had to quit because I got sick. Oh, I'm sorry. So I came out here where the air is fresh. 
Well, that's good, at least. He found a place. And, uh, yeah, he, he also lives, he lives with Vesta. Um, and they work on the farm together. Yeah. This is Wally, with the <laughs> really weird star eyes. Are you well, my friend? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Anyway, since it's getting kind of late, I guess we should go home. Uh, oh, remember to always put your animals back inside at night, or else if they're out all night, uh, they can kind of get a little sick sometimes, especially in the winter or if it's raining. Always keep your animals inside if it's raining. Um, I'm going to give Vanilla another, another thing of food. There. Good night. Oh, and this board is where you can check uh, how your animals are doing. If it says normal, then your animal is, like, fine and healthy. You know. Um, so I'm not actually... I, I'm not actually sure... Why is my dog... Hello? Why, uh... Why are you looking at the tool shed like that? There's nothing interesting about it. I don't think. Maybe the dog knows something I don't. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do these episodes. If I'm going to do, like, one episode a day... Because that's going to be a lot of episodes. Or, uh, I think for the first year, I'll pretty much do, like, an episode a day or every two days. And play, like, a day off screen from time to time. Uh, or, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll see. I'll fill it out. I know later on I'm definitely going to be skipping days and just showing, like, a few days of, like, every, uh, every season. But we'll see when we get there. Uh, this over here is your kitchen. This, uh, you can only make salads or soups so far. Uh, unlike other Harvest Moon games where you could upgrade your, uh, house and, um, like, get a bigger kitchen, bigger bedroom, that only happens, uh, as the story progresses through chapters. So every chapter, your house will grow, uh, which is pretty cool. I kind of like it. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna head off to bed because it is getting late. Uh, every time you go to bed and you sleep, uh, you sleep for exactly six hours, and then you wake up, so you have to time when you go to bed. Um, time when you go to bed and make sure that you, you know, sleep for as long as you want. Um, there's no real penalty to sleeping all day, but you won't be able to get a lot of stuff done, basically. Uh, we're going to sleep, we're not going to save. It always asks you if you want to save before you sleep. Um, but you do, you do want to sleep. You don't want to stay up all night, because, uh, see, we slept for like six hours, so now it's 2 a.m., so I'm just going to sleep again. You do want to sleep. You don't want to stay awake all all uh, all night because then your fatigue catches up with you, and you pass out. Um, speaking of fatigue, there's actually one really cool trick you can do, which is kind of cheap, and it takes a little bit of time to do. Uh, if you sleep, uh, when you wake up, your stamina is restored. Um, so an exploit you can do in this game is you can actually sleep, and when it asks you to save before you sleep, save the game. Uh, and then go to sleep. And then when you wake up, reset and load that save. And it'll actually load the game before you went to sleep. But you'll still have your stamina back as if you slept. So, I guess technically you could just stay up the entire game and never go to sleep. If you did that exploit. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to take advantage of it unless I absolutely need to. Just because it's kind of cheap. Uh, yeah, but now it's a new day. Uh, and I think that we'll start... Hey, dog. Help me end this episode. I think we'll start this this uh, this episode... Or this day. Okay, he doesn't like it. Fine. I think we'll start this day next episode. Is what I was trying to say before my dog started to disown me. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.